Hello there, my name is John Porterfield of Eco Cars and of Eco Vans as well because basically this is another 1.4 petrol Berlingo but it's been converted to LPG from the day it was registered with not one mile on the clock. So there's the LPG filler, much cheaper to run than the diesel version of the Berlingo. Uh, this is registered March 2008 on an 08 plate. It's just come off lease from Tumi Auto Lease. And I believe it was uh, leased by, well I know it was leased by, a pest control company for London because there was a, a fair bit of uh, granulated um, poisons that they used to, poison wraps, it was in the back. Um, so as you can see it's not been ply line, it's got the sound deadening material which is rather nice so it doesn't boom as much as a normal van. Rubber matting on the floor and underneath, basically, it's like a brand new van underneath. Um, it's been well looked after. The spare wheel, of course, is not underneath. That's where the tank is. So there's the spare and lots of tread on that as well. Because the where the spare wheel was is where the gas tank is now situated. So lots of these, great to run on gas. Glazed rear doors, high level brake light. Um, it's seen some work. It's got a McLaren LPG system on, which was the system specified by Citroen. It runs very well. Um, I'll show you some more details. Get out the wind. Um, there's no rips or tears to any of the upholstery. There's an odd tiny mark um, where it looks like a little bit like tiny bits of glue, to be honest. But um, other than that, it's very clean. There's a footwell mat in the passenger side. The driver's side had a huge hole in the actual over mat, so I've thrown that away. But there's no holes in the actual fabric of the uh, van's carpet. So say there's some, almost looks like a bit of glue, but that will probably come out with a bit of effort. Um, no rips to the seat or tears. And being at LX, we get electric front windows, but I'll just sit in and show you more of those details. So inside the Berlingo, there is just the one key, which is a remote. So it's got uh, remote central locking and uh, Basically, being the LX, you get lots of other optional extras. So you get steering wheel control for the uh, sound system, wiper stalk and indicator the other side. Guarantee the mileage there, 63,472 miles. As you can see from the spanner, it's also due a service uh, in 1,100 miles. So this will be serviced again before it is sold. So the beeping there just denotes we're very low on petrol. You need some petrol in order to start an LPG vehicle. So you just keep a quarter of a tank, but I'll put another 10 to 15 pounds worth of petrol in this. Normal rev counter, speedo, and uh, uh, engine temperature. So whilst it's warming up, um, that's the LPG switch basically, um, with the, with the uh, AG Nicholson McLaren system. So if uh, it might actually click over now, it's still cold. Should increase the revs. There we go. This particular system, when it really goes over 3,000 revs, it clicks straight over. So we're now running on gas. When that light goes out, and the four lights along the top denote a full tank. So we're just down into now three quarters of a tank of gas. When you run out, it automatically defaults back to petrol. And should you wish to, at any time, turn the system off there we are running on petrol press it once with that flashing it means it's waiting to go into gas mode I just blip the throttle and it clicks straight over to LPG so it works very well and this was the system approved of by Citroen whilst we're here we've got a little power point here a cigarette lighter and the power point so you've got two points there to charge various things up with, a couple of cup holders, five speed manual gearbox, normal heater controls, single shot CD player with also a display at the top, works very well. so you can also control the volume from here or the steering wheel as well, you can flip channels etc. So we've got uh, half of the display, I think it needs a new back bulb but you can just about read it and that side um, it's fine, you've got the time on that side, so you can still read the display. Um, 
at the top, but just to make you aware it's a little bit dull on the left hand side of the display. Electric windows, both work fine. Um, to control the, the wing mirrors, the driver side is manually controlled, the passenger side is controlled from this control here, and as you can see the mirror goes up and down and in and out fine. To lock all the doors, and uh, heated rear screen, but obviously hasn't got a heated element. Um, yeah, everything works on the van as it should. We've got uh, a little tin of tyre inflation kit if you shouldn't have the spare with you, but then we'll leave that in the van. What a lot of LPG owners do is leave the spare at home and carry a tin of tyre sealant, and that's what that is. So we've got various storage up here. I think we've got a courtesy mirror on the passenger side, map reading lights, all the usual things. A little hook there to hang your coat on. So they're very well thought out. The old shape Citroen Berlingo van. Now I'll just show you uh, some documents. So looking at the documents then we have a proper Citroen wallet here with uh, the maintenance guide, the service manual and also the owner's handbook and various other bits of paperwork that came with the van when it was brand new in even, even its uh, pre-delivery, its PDI inspection sheet is here and various other little bits and bobs that came from Citroen. It's been a contract hire vehicle and basically everything is here uh, with regard to the service intervals when it should be serviced but there are no stamps in the service book this often happens they just forget to take the book with them when they go to have it serviced but we can almost say for sure it has been serviced correctly it drives absolutely fine so it shouldn't really be an issue no previous keepers so Toomey Leasing Group Limited and uh, as you can see still class as a petrol van because there's no point having it changed to uh, gas by fuel because the road tax is the same whether it's running on petrol diesel or gas unfortunately so it's 215 pounds a year to tax this for 12 months so the v5 is here and we have its mot which expires the 5th of april 2014 great long mot with no advisories so superb there and the certificate from the gas uh, conversion company Nicholson McLaren engines is here with the old style certificate which is also online now as well showing it was converted by this company in Wales they did a lot of Citroens under contract with uh, Citroen UK and it was converted at just one mile uh, it's got a 59 litre tank so you should be able to fill this to about 52 51 litres from empty Nicholson McLaren engine supplier and with a Euro gas LPG system so all the certificates are here and everything else that you need to know about running an LPG vehicle will be in a booklet I'll also supply with the van. So under the bonnet we have uh, it's very clean it was a bit dusty so we've given it a quick wash looks like it's got a brand new battery that's the AG ECU unit which changes the timing of the engine and just down here is the vapour unit which vaporises the gas by means of the hot water that circulates and underneath the manifold are the four gas injectors. So it's very professionally fitted. We also have a plaque here from Nicholson McLaren showing that it was fitted uh, to their specification for this Citroen van. HPI clear of course, uh, it drives very well service before it is sold. So before I walk you around this uh, great looking van I'll just take you for a short test drive. So welcome to the test drive. So uh, just clicked over to gas. 
and pull away. The clutch feels fine, it's about half of the pedal. And it's very quiet. It's the first thing you notice about an LPG van, it's so much quieter than the diesel and so much cheaper to run. This will return around 37, 36, 38 miles to the gallon. So with half price fuel, you're looking at 70 miles to the gallon plus. So much cheaper to run than the diesel the Lingo. And doing your bit for the environment, because it's so much cleaner as well. No undue noises or clonks. Um, over a pothole there. No noises from the suspension. Portably and clean. Fifth gear. 40 miles an hour. 2,000 revs. That's where the economy really sets in. Wipers are fine. Everything works as it should. Drives lovely and straight. Doesn't pull to the left or the right. And drives like all the other Belingos and sold. So uh, just pull over now. Pull up nice and harsh and he's lovely and straight. So that concludes the test drive. I'm just taking you now for a final walk around this. So welcome back for the test drive. It's just started raining so I'll be uh, as brief as possible. There are no chips to the windscreen. Uh, looking at the front, the front tyre, I'd say about three millimetres on there. The discs are fine, they're not lit. I think they may have been changed at some point recently. So the discs are good. Other imperfections, there's a large scratch down there which I will endeavour to touch in with a touch-in pad. The mirror is fine. Now down the sides we have the odd tiny dimple dent but nothing as you can see to really worry about. The roof is also dent free. Looking at the rear tyre, that's uh, again a bit like the front one, about three millimetres on that rear. Uh, what is it? Is it a Michelin? Uh, yes a Michelin tyre and the rims are all fairly good often these get a bit scuffed but the rims are nice and clean the rear corners are fine there's a tiny very shallow dent on that back door little nick there uh, the rest of it's fine to be honest this rear tyre again like the other one three millimetres and again it's uh, the tyres fine the rims got a little bit of scuffing nothing to be worried about now down this side there's a few dimple dents again and there's some outward dents there which have just broken the paint just to make you aware of all this the mirror is fine the other front tire that's quite recent four or five millimeters on that another michelin again the front rim just a little bit of scuffy um, as you can see the roof everything else is fine it did have a rack fitted and I think where the rope has rubbed over the years it's just wore away a little bit of the surface of the paint just there I think where they had ladders on the roof. The front corners are very very clean no scuffs as is the bonnet. This has spent most of its time around London so there are no stone chips to the bonnet whatsoever. So thanks for watching we won't have this for long we sell these very quickly and uh, we look forward to your call. Thank you.